Precast concrete pad footings are laid on the excavation site while ground beams and slabs are attached. Precast concrete columns are bolted on the footings and the joint connection is casted with concrete. The columns are attached vertically and the rebar in the center reinforces the connection. They are joined by bolts and the bolts are then grouted. The beam is placed on the bearing pads of column corbel and is secured with a protruding rebar. The gaps in between are then grouted. The wall panels are slotted in their designated positions between the skeletal structure. The gaps are filled with grout to secure the walls. The slabs are fitted at the edges of the beam and the slab rebars secure the adjacent slabs. The gaps are then grouted. The landing and stairs are joined by concrete rebate and the gaps are grouted. The prefabricated roof trusses are secured onto the building via L brackets and the rafters are bolted on the trusses. The columns, beams and slabs used are precast concrete, while the roof trusses used are of prefabricated steel. Lastly, the repetition of floor-to-floor -floor height as well as the vertical and horizontal repetition of the structural floor layout. Frame panels are easily lifted by one person. Start by positioning the wall frame panels around the floor slab, following the numbering on the framing plan layout. Frame assembly begins at one corner, joining two panels together. Panels are bolted and screwed together. It's like assembling a big Meccano set. Continue adding additional panels according to the framing plan. Now for temporary support, the framing panels are held upright with specially designed braces supplied with the frame. These are fixed on one end to the floor and the other end to the panel with self-drilling screws. Soon the frame will begin to take shape. Each panel is numbered and corresponds to a master framing plan. We call it building by numbers. Continue frame assembly, building room after room. Panels are designed as wall, window or door panels. Continue to refer to the framing plan for positioning. The unique PAL construction process makes home building so easy. All external and internal wall frames are bolted together until the whole house frame is complete. Once the frame is completed, it's then fixed to the floor with diner bolts. Bracing straps are then attached. They're tightened with adjustable turnbuckles to achieve absolute squareness of the frame. And with the wall frame completed, it's now onto the roof. Roof trusses are delivered in knockdown form. 
Once assembled, they make two halves for easy lifting. No need for cranes. They're simply bolted together and then bolted to the top of the wall frame. Roof construction starts with a hip end, forming a rigid structure for remaining trusses. All brackets are pre-located and holes are pre-drilled. Roof trusses line up with pre-drilled holes on wall frames. Just bolt it together, it's that simple. Now continue adding roof trusses following the framing plan. Pre-cut roof battens are fastened with self-drilling screws. Ceiling battens are all pre-cut to size and attached with quick-fix clips underneath the trusses for fixing of plasterboard.